Hi, I'm Todd Sheeran and welcome to Three Minutes with Greg Gnip. Now, Greg has been a radio personality in Windsor, Detroit area for over 25 years and he's laughing, but it's true. Greg, tell me how you got started in this industry and how you, you've sustained for so long. Um, I, I actually got into this industry by accident. I was going to go work for a record company, graduated from the University of Windsor, and uh, 89X had been going for about four weeks. thought I'd go in intern. Because I figured I could get you know some concert tickets, maybe get some free CDs, something like that. So I interned. Three months later, uh, Darren Ravel, who was working for the station, got sick. I had done uh, college radio for four years. They said, "Listen, you're working tonight, and this is now a 25-year uh, internship." A 25-year internship. Where yeah, because I, I still up? thought I was. I still think I'm going to go work for a record company, <laughs> but it just doesn't seem to be happening. Well, you you weren't just a DJ on the air. You've you've done DJing outside of radio as well. Oh yeah, you? I mean, I used to do uh, Club X, which was the big club night. Um, I DJed all the clubs in Windsor, all the stuff in Detroit. I mean, I've had fun. I had I went to New York. I went to Chicago. It was a good time. But you know, now 25 years later, it's just you know, even getting up at nine o'clock on a Tuesday was rough. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we won't make any comments about getting up early on a Tuesday morning. Um, now you started with 89X. That was more the modern rock thing. Yeah. And of course, you're more of a 80s kind of music guy uh, you know you're into all the club stuff and used to be into the, the techno and the, I'm sure the punk and all that kind of stuff new wave now what was the the reason for the jump from 89x to the river which is more adult contemporary music or old rock and some people say now I, I have to be honest I, I was doing an event for 89x and this lovely young girl came up to me and said hey can you do me a favor wish my twin sister a happy birthday I, um, so of course I you know I'm, it's a twin sister listen I'm gonna do both of your birthdays so I said well how old are you guys and over in the states that you can be in the club at 18 and then she said well we just turned 18 so I went you're 18 you're 18 that's 36 I'm 41 that's I'm too old <laughs> You know? It didn't add up. Yeah, it was just, it just felt <laughs> wrong. So you know, I just moved down the hall. I mean, it's, it's fun because, I mean, with, with The River, I mean, I'm still playing Bob Marley. I'm still playing Depeche Mode, but I'm also playing David Gray and uh, Lucas Graham. And, you know, and so it's like, there, it's a, it's a blend of older and new stuff. So I kind of like that. Yeah, it was a good balance on that yeah. station for sure. And I got to be honest, some of the uh, new angry punk music, I don't quite understand because I'm not, I'm not angry anymore. I'm bitter. I'm just bitter now, so, you know. Well, with that being said, can you tell me some of the changes that have taken place, not maybe with just the music, but with the industry and radio itself over the last 25 years? A <sighs> lot less freedom. I mean, it, it, but that's, that's business everywhere. Everybody's counting pennies, tightening controls, management's looking down on you. Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way. They're, I mean, they're just being management. Um, I mean, that's what it is. It's, it's like, I mean, when I first started with 89X, I used to carry in my own records and my own CDs. It was almost college radio, but you got paid for it. Now, you know, there's a tighter rotation and they, there's a lot more keeping of track. And the big change, I mean, one of the biggest changes is everything's computerized. I mean, I don't touch things at all. I touch a, a mouse and sometimes I sit back for 15 minutes waiting for my next break. Has digital era changed anything about the selection of music that you guys play on the station? I don't know if it's changed. I mean, in some ways, I think video has because, I mean, there's a lot prettier bands out there becoming popular. And I think a lot of it's caused by the video. You've got a pretty lead singer or, you know, a handsome lead singer. You've got a, there's a chance you've got a winning band as opposed to, you know, Lemmy from Motorhead isn't going to be the uh, spokesperson anymore for uh, mm -hmm. a, a, a 14 year old girl or boy. So I guess I should start a band, right? Is you what you're, is what you're telling amazing. me? You would be amazing. You would be amazing. I'll give it my best shot. I can't wait to see the poster. Oh, <laughs> uh, if you can tell me if there's any other city that you would want to be doing this in other than Windsor, Detroit, or the Motor Cities, I guess, where would it be? Dream would be Reykjavik, Iceland. I would go to Iceland again in a heartbeat. I mean, their, their music industry there is uh, incredible. I was there just uh, six months ago, and I think I saw some of the, I, I went to a little bar that's about the same size of, say, Fog, mm. and I saw three bands that were probably better than half the bands I've seen at the Fillmore Detroit, and they just played in a 300,000 uh, person uh, country. But I mean, other than that, I love Windsor and Detroit. I mean, this is my home. I've been, I've had a chance to be all over North America. I keep coming back and, I, and this is where I'm gonna stay. I mean, I love Windsor for the people. I love Detroit because they've got all the sports and all the entertainment and then I can come back to Windsor and all the people.
people again. You've had a fruitful career. I'd love to talk to you all day about it, but our three minutes is up. Well, Can you that believe that? Time minutes. flies when you're having fun, right? Yes, Greg? sir. I'd like to thank you for being here. Once again, we've been here for three minutes with the legendary, the personality of radio, Greg Ganip.